Hello, my name is Jack Seddon. I'm an Associate Professor here in the Department of Political Science and Economics. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to anyone taking the time to watch this. I hope I managed to give you a sense of who I am and what I do. But please don't hesitate to contact me if you would like to discuss anything in greater detail or just connect. I work at the intersection between international political economy and economic history. At the most general level, international political economy is about the linkages between economic and political activity within the world economy. I'm especially interested in international monetary and financial systems. You can think about these systems as the computer software programs or background infrastructures that the world economy runs on. You might have heard of some of these systems. They are sometimes named after the economists that inspired them such as the post-1945 Keynesian International Order, named after the British economist John Maynard Keynes. In other cases, they are named after the technical rules that govern their operation, such as the classical gold standard that existed before the outbreak of the First World War. When these systems work smoothly, we hardly notice them. They facilitate capital formation, risk management, and enable economic growth and prosperity across nations. But when they are poorly governed, corrupted or tampered with, they can impose enormous costs on society, such as those we have all experienced since the 2008 financial crisis. And they can drive episodes of political dislocation and disruption. Right now I am conducting research in three main areas. With colleagues in Europe, I am working on the long decline of the pound sterling as an international currency. In a project with colleagues in the United States, I am looking into the pol politics of central banking in non-democratic countries. Finally, in every spare moment I can find, I am reading up on blockchain technologies and cryptocurrencies to better understand how they might disrupt established financial markets around the world. I consider it a privilege to be able to do my work in the current historical moment. The world faces a profound set of issues around climate change and globalisation. I hope my work can contribute in a small way to our collective efforts to understand these challenges and inspire the next generation of students to better understand them. Don't let anyone tell you something is too difficult. Be brave enough to ask naive questions. Learn as many methods as you can and use the ones that best suit the questions you want to answer. Ignore current academic trends, embrace your limitations, and don't forget to enjoy the research you do. Thank you again for listening. I truly appreciate it.